Hello, welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. My name is Sean, and today, uh, well, I guess it's a tutorial, but uh, what I really want to do is clarify some uh, a common misconception for how the uh, Drupal and Joomla uh, region definition areas, the, the way you define regions for Drupal and, and uh, Joomla work. Um, a lot of people are having some, uh, some people are having some trouble with it, and uh, I thought rather than write out an, uh, an explanation, I could just show you. So uh, let me show you. Let's see. Let's look at a pretty standard. This, the problem exists. Uh, the misconception exists for both uh, Joomla and Drupal. I'm going to use a Drupal theme here um, to show you exactly what's going on and why and how the misconception happens. Um, so here's a very simple um, Drupal theme. We're going to make Drupal with it. It's uh, just got some color and some background. But what's important here is we have three um, primary uh, areas here, uh, regions. Uh, this one's called head, head underscore Drupal. Here, let's see. I'll zoom in and show you. Um, now, this is part of the image, obviously. Uh, it's got head, uh, header, I'm sorry, header underscore Drupal will go here. And there's kind of an orange background like that and uh, this kind of pinkish foreground. And uh, that's what I want to be. The, the image that goes with that region. I want that to be the background image for this region. Um, likewise, down here, we have uh, uh, left Drupal. Um, these aren't the la real layer names. Again, these are just in the image, but I just have them here to illustrate. But a, a thick orange border and, uh, and a whitish uh, background. These are the, the borders that I want for my content. This is the way I'm designing my theme, and I've made these layers. Now, here's, here's where the misconception happens. Um, I've written that uh, I want header underscore Drupal will go here and left Drupal and content Drupal. So the incorrect way to do it, the way that's not going to work, is to just take these layers and name them directly those things. So I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you that. So we have uh, content Drupal right here. That's the big uh, the big rectangle over there. Left Drupal and header Drupal. You see, there's no other layers around those. I don't know if you can see it in the YouTube video, but you can see that it's these are the names of the layers for these exact for those background images. The problem is that PSD to CSS Online is going to take whatever's in this layer, for example, content Drupal, and replace it. It's going to replace it with the actual content from Drupal, the text. It's not going to use the image that's in this layer. It's going to just replace it. It uses the size and the placement of that image, but uh, but it's not going to display that image. There's not That image isn't going to exist in the HTML file. Uh, instead, it's going to be replaced by the text. Um, so I'll show you how that happens real quick. This is already saved. We'll just make it. Here's PSD to CSS Online. We'll upload our PSD file. I have a, uh, a WAMP server, W-A-M-P server on my Windows machine here, so I can show uh, I can do development for Drupal and Joomla very, very quickly. It's got uh, on Windows, it has Apache and uh, MySQL and PHP all installed and connected together. You just install it, and instantly you have a web server running on your machine. You can uh, then install Drupal or, or uh, Joomla or WordPress or anything. Anything. It's a complete. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it's a complete uh, develop web web server. Um, so here's a. Uh, this is finished. Uh, we'll download the zip file. Open it up here. So there's the uh, the bottom of our file hierarchy for uh, a Drupal a Drupal install. Here I'll show you Drupal first of all. This is this is Drupal running on my machine and localhost. Obviously has no theme attached to it. So we will take the one that was just generated, drop it into the uh, into the Drupal stuff into the Drupal area here. I'll show you WAMP www Drupal it's on my C drive. So now when I uh, go visit the uh, themes folder as the administrator, I'm sorry, the themes uh, admi administrations screen, my PSD to CSS online theme is there. I enable it and make it default and save the configuration. And we will see this website, this Drupal website, with my new theme on it. But as you can see, exactly as I described, but not as maybe you might suspect, my nice regions with the orange borders are gone. The content is there. Here's the, the left con Drupal content, the content, I'm sorry, the left Drupal region and its content. Here's the content Drupal region and its content. We go to the home and, you know, it's a functioning Drupal website. But uh, this, the header part here is 
seems to be completely missing, and it's really not. It's just that this this Drupal install has no content for the for the header region. Um, the border has gone here, and the border has gone here. That's because those again those border images were replaced because of their name. So, how do we solve this problem? That's the big question, right? So I will show you. Let's uh, go and close this. Oops. Close this. Let's uh, remove this bad Drupal theme. I just remove that out of the sites folder there. Um, we will go back to our design, and here's what we need to do. We want this image to stay here, so we don't want it replaced, so we need to rename it something else. That's header, I don't know, background, BK. I'm going to make it, yeah, BK. And uh, But but then, then, of course, there's no Drupal content, so what we need to do is make a new layer just to define where the content's going to go. And I'll make a nice, just a, a solid here. Probably should have done that before I started. But it's this is where we want the content to go. Now this even, all of a sudden starts to make some sense too because we don't want the Drupal content to go right to the very edge of these orange borders. We want the content to fit inside those orange borders. And likewise down here too. So I've made a new one. We're going to call this header Drupal. We'll make, uh, for left Drupal, we'll make another one. And again, we don't want the content to go right to the right to the edge of the droop of the orange borders. We want it to kind of sit inside a little bit. That's the idea, right? Left Drupal. Oh yeah, I've got to rename the uh, background there to left BK for background or whatever. It's kind of unimportant what it's called. Just don't call it underscore Drupal. Uh, and uh, likewise here, we'll make a content area for this one. Now these big gray boxes aren't going to show up. Just as I was mentioning before, they're going to be replaced by the Drupal text. So this is content Drupal. And this one we have to rename to content BK. There you go. So now we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that. The header Drupal is that gray box now. It's the spot where I want the Drupal uh, header content to show up. But we want the background to show up as well. And so now that has a different name. Likewise for this. This used to be called left underscore Drupal, but we want to see it. So we called it something else so that it doesn't get replaced. And we made a new layer called left underscore Drupal. That is the exact size and place that I want the words to show up in. And uh, same here and here. Okay, so uh, now what we'll do is save this file. Save. And we will go to PSD to CSS. Oops. PSCD to CSS online again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops. Why did it forget who I am? I don't know, but now it knows who I am. Um, and we'll upload regions again. And I'll do the conversion again. Generate all our CSS, all our HTML, all those images in JPEG or PNG format based on my layer names. Um, it'll write all the CSS. It'll add some JavaScript if we had uh, stuff that required it. It'll name all the fold all the files correctly so that Drupal recognizes it as a theme add some extra files that Drupal needs to recognize it as a theme put it in the right fire uh, file hierarchy all that stuff it just did all that um, so now we'll download that and there it is and we will just copy it into our Drupal installation just like we did before yes we want to overwrite that so then we'll visit our site again. We'll hit re reload. And there are our borders that we intended in the first place, but because we had named them the actual graphics that we want to see with the underscore Drupal theme, they were replaced. So instead, we renamed them so that they were not underscore Drupal layers, that they're some kind of graphic. <coughs> Excuse me. In fact, what we could do now is... Uh, is merge those background layers with the big background layer. That way I would have just one background image. As this stands now, it's not the most efficient page. It's got the one big background image that says PSD to CSS Online Drupal Joomla Regions example. And we have separate layers for each of these background areas. You may want that. You may not want that. It depends on uh, what you're going to do with your page. It depends on if you're going to add more custom code after the conversion that uh, may turn these on and off. Or, or, or uh, There's lots of different reasons why you might want to keep those layers in. But they're, they're just background now. 
so uh, so they don't need to stay separate layers. But as you can see, this is the design we intended, and uh, and so there you go. That's uh, that's the misconception and uh, why it happens and how to fix it. So thanks for listening.